Hi guys, I'm going to do a little haul video. Now this is a tiny haul and I'm really sorry if you can hear my washing machine <laughs> spinning in the background. Don't have much time to do these videos so I have to take advantage of when I can. So sorry about that background noise. Um, so first of all, I thought I'd just treat myself. I had a stressful week, my son's first birthday party and it was just crazy around here. There were so many people here, you know, just a lot of stress. There was business stress, you know, just everything was getting on top of me. So when I get stressed, I tend to just get out of the house and do some retail therapy. And I didn't spend much, so I'm not ashamed of myself. Although I did buy my son some rather expensive items. But anyway, um, so first of all, I got this new tape runner. Now it's a cheap one from Spotlight, so I'm not sure. Now my dogs are going to bark. Um, I'm not sure of the quality, so I'll see how I go with it. Um, I did see someone that got some from Kmart, but I, when I had a look, they were just as expensive as the American Crafts ones. They weren't like $2.00. I think it was Adele, if you're watching this. They weren't, my Kmart doesn't have the $2 ones. So anyway, I'll try this and see how it goes. Next, I got this stamp from a Studio Calico kit um, by Hello Forever. And I got this off a garage sale website. Um, people quite often sell their stamps on there because obviously they buy the kit for the cards and whatever and don't stamp. So... I actually thought this was really cool and I'm thinking it was a May stamp because it's got Hello May. Um, but I really liked some of the words and I loved these arrows. Um, let the adventure begin, just a little randomness. You know, this is really cute stuff that would work well in my project life. So I thought I'd get those and they're, they're like $5 or something so they weren't too bad. Um, and I got these ones which I've been eyeing off for ages. Um, from Spotlight and these are the Hardy Swap. I don't know if they're from a collection as such. Um, she released them I think when she released all that Project Life stuff and you can tell that they're very, um, I think they're designed for Project Life really because they're very tiny. I mean the sheet itself would be oh, probably like four inches tall by Oh, I don't know. It's smaller than a 4x6, so they're not very big stamps, but they're very cute. Like, they've got things like counting blessings, be amazing, you are the best, I love everything about you, remember this, hashtag happy day. Um, they've, got, they've got a list, I love your, there's a blank spot, documented, has my heart, thank you so much, cherish each day, noted, and hello. So I thought they would be really cute for Project Life. I loved the sentiments on those. Now next, this, oh, I'm a sucker really, honestly. I signed up for Studio Calico Project Life Kits again. Um, the only reason I unsubscribed last time was that I wasn't doing Project Life for the family, I was just doing it for my son. And I found a lot of the stuff sometimes didn't suit his album because um, it wasn't like a generalized album it was really focused on boy stuff so now that I'm doing a family one I thought I'd subscribe again I because re I really like the designs of their cards so since I last subscribed they've changed the packaging a little bit but that's all good so you get this little box and um, I don't know if these are like a freebie or if they're part of the kit but there's like three pencils and they've got little gold Hustle, Make Something, and Studio Calico written on them. And I'm not sure if it's because I just signed up again or I'm not sure, to be honest, because that wasn't pictured in the kit. So I saw a few people making things with this kit. Um, and they a lot of people were negative about these chipboard words from Hello Forever and I couldn't work out why they were complaining about the words but now I kind of understand it they're they're not words like you know when you get the sticker sheets and they say like love cute things like that they're actually words that you need to make sentences from like came now no don't you know why of tell the big so 
sorry, I mean, if you'd have to sort through the packet, I think, and make the sentences you want to make. Otherwise, if you're sitting there doing Project Life, it would take forever to go through these words to make a sentence, I think. So I, I think that's the only negative, and I can understand why people didn't like those as much. I'd, I'd prefer the words just to be like things you can use on their own. Um, and these are little chipboard hearts with like a gold speckle through them. They're very, very cute. And this stamp is like 2015. This is the January kit, by the way. Um, so you've got two different 2015s. And I'm thinking that would look cool in like a lighter colored ink. And then if you stamp a darker with that one across the top, that would look really cool. And they've got top five goals for this year to do right now, top 10. And there's little check boxes that say, I did, I do, I always will. I would have loved this stamp before now because I've already done my goals page, but I might, yeah, I might still do a bit more with those. You also get this chipboard, uh, it's very, oh, not chipboard, sorry, wood veneer um, January, and it, it's very, very thin, but it's super cute, like, and it's better to have thin stuff anyway in Project Life, otherwise it gets bulky enough as it is. Um, and these are Hello Forever label stickers, so you've got the week, uh, the, the weeks, the days, so they've got Sunday, actually, hold on, where's Monday? Oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they've got now, this, yes, okay, here, and some icons, so they're pretty cool too, and you get these little, like, their pop-out die cuts, and they're, like, labels, there's coppery coloured ones, and I've noticed that Studio Calico seems to bring, seems to be bringing some copper in, I've actually ordered for, with my February kit, the copper vellum pack that they offered to subscribers, which looked really cool. So, I love some of the sentiments on this too, like pajamas all day, because to be honest, that happens here quite a bit. Um, it's good to be home, things to do, dance party. I don't know when we'd have a dance party around here. The only thing that plays on the thing is wiggles. So Elijah has quite a few dance parties to his wiggles, but I'm not so keen. So this is just the um, card they put with the kit. And you get like a little um, bio of their featured artist, um, which is Leslie Shuring for this, and she's from Canada. So that might be cool to check out. Um, and they like link her Instagram. Yep, so that's pretty cool. And I love these. These are the alphabet stickers, and they are mint. I love mint so much. This is the colour theme of my wedding that, you know, gets organised and never happens one day. Um, so they are very cool. They're like a scripty font. I'm not always a fan of the script, but I really love the colour of these. And they're like a vinyl type material. So they'll be fun to use. You also get a 2015, I don't know if you can see that. I need something to put. I don't even have anything white to put it on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, 2015, like, oh, I am so blocked for words today. Acetate, like, um, see-through thing. Right, so now the cards you get, I don't actually know how many cards you get, to be honest. You get one, two, three, four, five, four by six cards. So there's this one. This is why I subscribe to the kits. I love their cards. Um, you also get this cityscape that says it was one of those days and I'm like I've noticed that the picture Cards with the realistic pictures are coming back in and I actually really do quite like them um, This one's super cute. It's got horses um, a fox and a rabbit So that's cute and it's got the so you can have it either way Adventure awaits I think I'll use this side. And they've got hello in a pink and a grey. Now here are the four by sixes. So we um four by sixes, three by fours. Now I have no idea how many you get. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, oops, 20, 21, 22, 22, I think you get 25. So you get 30 cards all up. So this one says right here, you've got that both ways. It's like a geometric type pattern. This year I want to, to be honest, I still haven't decided what I want to do this year. Have another baby or not, I don't know. Um, here's another realistic picture of like a snowy wood forest thing. That's pretty cool. Pussycat! Although I don't have any cats, so um, I did have a cat, but unfortunately I don't have him anymore. So that's a cat. There's a little arrow, and this is cute because it's a journaling card. I can never have enough of these. So that's a really awesome one. Um, everything is awesome. Oh, I'm going to break out into the Lego movie song. So that's both ways. Love this. All that I need today is probably coffee, to be honest. Um, I like a geometric triangle pattern. Some feathers in like a frame. Awesome. There's an end or an M, what do you call that? Oh, okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, there's a dog. Now, I do have a dog. He's not white, but you know, that's pretty cute. I think, I think that dog features in their new Baxter collection. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but it is pretty cute. We almost actually got a cat the other day. I went past the RSPCA, which is like the animal shelter and they were giving away kittens and oh, I was in a mood. But it didn't happen, thank God. Um, so this one says really good, or you've got just the triangles on the back. Let the good times roll. This one's really cute. It's a camera with like a floral pattern. And it says captured. There's a circle with all the ends. Um, January blank blank 2015 was one. And then you've got to find a five letter word. I could think of all sorts of things for that card. Um, that was genius. There's like a watercolour type with some plus signs. That's rather cute. Oh, this was so this week. This card needs to go for this week. It's a bad case of the blah blah blahs. <laughs> that is definitely good for this week. Um, movie review. I actually am tempted to use that for this week as well because I watched a movie last night called Heaven is for Real and it was amazing. I don't know, I love, like I'm not, I don't usually watch movies like that but it was a really amazing movie so that will definitely get used. Um, photo number, I'm not a fan of yellow and red, I don't know, like it depends I suppose. Balloons, that also might be good for this week um, because my son had his party, although I do like the other side that says fly away as well. So yeah, that's the Studio Calico kit and I did succumb to subscri subscribing again, but you know, I'm hoping to it'll jumpstart me into actually doing more of my project life and mixing things up a little bit. I love getting packages in the mail. And of course I will be using the scrappery kits for my project life as well so there will be lots of stuff to use for my project life this year so I hope you enjoyed this little whole video and I will see you next time I should have another whole video very soon because I've got some more things coming in the mail soon so until then thanks for watching bye